Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x times x times x times x over x plus x plus x plus x is equal to 16. To find the values of x from this equation. Now, solution. From our problem, which is x times x times x times x over x plus x plus x plus x is equal to 16 into here this multiplication here is same as x power of 1 times x power of 1 times x power of 1 times x power of 1 so here it will be same x then we add the power so it will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 then over in the denominator x plus x plus x plus x it is 4x is equal to 16 then in the next step it will be x power of x plus power of 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 it is 4 over this 4x is equal to 16 then it will be x power of 4 over here same x 4x is same as 4 times x this same as x power of 1 then is equal to 16 now from here x power 4 over x power of 1 this over this this here is in the form of a power of m over a power of n which is equal to a power of m minus n so it will be x power 4 over x power of 1 is same as x power of 4 minus 1 then over this 4 is equal to 16 then in the next step it will be x power of 4 minus 1 it is power of 3 over 4 is equal to 16 then this 16 is same as 16 over 1 so we'll cross multiply so it will be x power of 3 times 1 it is x power of 3 is equal to 4 times 16 which is same as 16 times 4 then it will be x power of 3 is equal to 16 times 4 it is 64 then in the next step it will be x power of 3 then we take this 64 to the left side so it will be minus 64 is equal to 0 so into here it will be x power of 3 minus 64 64 is same as 4 power of 3 is equal to 0 now x power of 3 minus 4 power of 3 this here is in the form of a power of 3 minus b power of 3 which is equal to a minus b bracket bracket a square plus a b plus b square bracket so by applying this form here a minus b it will be x minus 4 so here x minus 4 bracket then bracket a square it will be x square then plus a b it will be x times 4 it is 4 x plus b square it will be 4 square then bracket is equal to 0 then it will be x minus 4 bracket bracket x square plus 4 x plus 4 square it is 16 bracket is equal to 0 then from here we have two solutions whereas this first solution of x minus 4 is equal to 0 and this second solution of x square plus 4x plus 16 is equal to 0 now from this solution here minus 4 we take to this side it will be x is equal to 4 so this is the first value of x now to solve from this quadratic equation by using quadratic formula whereas quadratic formula it is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root 
of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it will be x is equal to minus b is coefficient of x which is 4. So 4 plus or minus square root of b square. It will be 4 square minus 4 times a it is 1 times c is 16. Then over 2 times a is 1. Then in the next step it will be x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square. 4 square it is 16. Then minus 4. Here 1 times 16 4. 4. 1 times 16 it is 16. So times 16. Then over this times this it is 2. Then it will be x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root into here 16 is common so we'll take 16 out of bracket 16 divided by 16 is 1 then minus 4 times 16 divided by 16 is 4 then bracket over this 2 then it will be x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 so we separate this it will be square root of 16 then times square root of 1 minus 4 here is minus 3 then over this 2 then it will be x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 it is 4 square root of negative 3 is same as square root of 3 times square root of negative 1 then over this 2 then it will be x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus 4 square root of negative 1 it, it is iota so here i then times this square root of 3 then over this 2 then in the next step it will be x is equal to here we divide by 2 in this part and this part so to be negative 4 over 2 so negative 4 over 2 plus or minus 4i square root of 3 over 2. So 4i square root of 3 over 2. Then it will be x is equal to negative 4 divided by 2. Here it is negative 2 plus or minus 4i divided by 2. It is 2i this square root of 3. So into here we have two complex solutions. Therefore, the first value of x into this our problem, it is this 4. The second value of x is equal to, here when it is positive, it will be negative 2 plus 2i square root of 3. So negative 2 plus 2i square root of 3. The third value of x is equal to, negative 2 minus 2i square root of 3 so negative 2 minus 2i square root of 3 so these are all the three values of x in this our problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye